think the first impact that furniture has is that of practicality, that of demand. And over the years and years, we've obviously used it as, as varying things as well, whether it's for practicality within spaces, whether it's uh, it needs to perform a function, or whether it is also used as you know newly pieces of art. Now, it often is very much an expression of the space and of the owner that is in. So that's the sort of twofold thing. There's the practical, the day-to-day -day furniture that we require for the way we've learned to live, and then there's that furniture as well. And now we speak a lot about branding and all these things uh, and you know, new ways of working and um, companies sending out a message to people that they want to come and work with them. It's a very good way to tell people this is who we are compared to you know, a number of years ago, take it 50s, 60s, when you had typing pools, nobody wondered what the furniture was. You sat at your desk. Now you can actually wow people with it. And not only because of you know, the way it looks, but also because of the way it performs. We do a lot of work with well standards, sustainability. Uh, where do the materials come from? Um, can they be reused? Can there be modular systems that you can pack away and open up again over time that you don't throw things out? So that's become a really big part of, of how we source furniture now as well. We've also learned that, you know, again, only a few years ago before COVID, we still relied on our desk. Everybody had their desks adjusted, so you know you, you sat properly. Now most people work at home from a sofa in the kitchen. Um, so it's the choice of furniture. That's also what has changed now and what we specify now. It is more about choice that people can have maybe a more flexible piece of furniture that can be used in alternative ways, uh, that is of good quality. And again, talking about wastefulness of not wanting to waste is, is having furniture that ages and is hopefully more timeless as well. How do we specify furniture? There's definitely a lot of items of furniture that I've loved for 20 years that when I can, I will specify again, if, if given the opportunity. Some, the design is simply so good that it lasts the journey. And I think that's maybe do less, have less, but better. I've definitely, and especially with the pandemic, behind, I'd like to say behind us, but no. Um, one thing we have learned is, you know, storage. You know, we go, like, if, even if we go into our office, if I look open the storage cupboards, there's actually stuff that we, we don't need anymore. We won't need it for that anymore. So I think there's going to be an element where um, we could probably organize ourselves better, less waste, less paper, less printing, less files. You know, that all works and that we don't need. I think that's probably one of the pieces of furniture that, especially more in a work environment, obviously personal environment is always, there's always a demand, but that we can work, organize that better. We have more shared storage spaces where years ago, everybody had their own box and what have you not, that, you know, they filled the first day they arrived in the office and never emptied again. We are also brought up with some ownership of, of furniture, aren't we? Yeah. You have your desk and you aspire when you're younger to get a better desk somewhere, not the one next to the toilet. Um, it is still it is still means identity and ownership. And the big drive in this workforce is agile. Everybody can come and, and it's all saying, we're making it better, we're making it better. So me, I have the desk one day, you have it the next. But actually we're removing something away from people as well, which we shouldn't forget. By yes, we give them a gym or whatever it is, but what you don't have, you spend, most people spend more time in the office than they do at home. A sense of ownership and identity. So I'm, I'm, I'm supporting the, the desk. I'm supporting a bit of personal space um, that you can fill and that you have a sense of belonging.